Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am inspired by Chucky from Child's Play. So this makeup has been created using a bald cap sculpt gel and alcohol activated makeups and the worst wig in the world so if you want to know how i created this chucky please keep watching because i will show you step by step in the coming video before i started filming today i quickly applied my bald cap blocked my eyebrows and popped in a few blue contact lenses so i know my eyes are naturally blue but as chucky is a doll and he needs doll eyes i thought let's Put some blue contacts in there these are called purple hibiscus they are by Ericona and um, well I think they will be fitting for this Chucky look to create the wounds on Chucky's face today I am gonna work with sculpt gel so I have a reference picture and I will just start applying that sculpt gel to my skin to mimic these wounds so I have a very extended video on sculpt gel if you want to know all of it but if you just want to see me create Chucky, please keep watching because we will get some wounds on the skin. So this one is a very long wound. I will get them on my skin wound by wound. So this is the flesh colored sculpt gel. We also have a clear variety at our store. I just like working with the flesh tone because then you can see better what you are creating on the skin. The clear one is perfect amazing to create wounds with but well it's clear so it's a little bit harder to see what you're doing until you start the coloring so i think this one goes back far enough let's smooth out this sculpt gel and create the wound that i see on the picture so smoothing out sculpt gel can be done with alcohol and i just put a bit of that on my spatula of course we don't really want to see any edges to the sculpt gel to sell a convincing chucky look so you can smooth out the sculpt gel with your spatula you can use a sponge like i'm doing now be careful with alcohol near your eyes because that does sting a straight line in there for the wound because most of this one is actually stitched up with exception of the start of it that is a bit open so i will create a kind of slightly open wound there and also at the end there are a few gaps in there so let me quickly get those there as well so i think this part of the wound is quite okay and when i look at the picture the wound actually continues over the nose so chucky of course has a very small doll nose i don't have that but I will put the wound there anyway. Yes, and there will be stitches in my nose, obviously. So the next one will actually be over the middle of the mouth. So there is also a wound going from the lip to the eye and the space in my face is way larger than on Chucky's face but I will just put in a few extra stitches in this space so let's put the sculpt gel there and with sculpt gel you can work all the way up to the eye just don't get it in your eye So there is a lot going on around the eye area in a Chucky makeup and I do want to catch it all so I'm going to work as close to my eye as I possibly can. Um, be careful if you are recreating this with something like liquid latex, you definitely don't want to get that too close to your eye. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
to powder the skull gel i have the neutral set powder by ben nye and the big fluffy brush by titanic effects this is number 211 and it is great for powdering stuff like scalp gel and latex For the base color of my Chucky, I'm going to use the Skin Tone Palette by Encore. This is the Skin Cover Up Palette. I'm just going to stipple the color on there using the large stippling brush. This is number 110. And well, basically, I just want a very even coat of color to become a doll. I changed to the large splattering brush by Ben Nye. That is a nice evenly colored base. I'm switching to the pinkish color because Chucky does have a bit of that blush in his face and I definitely want to mimic that. So I have a bit of that on my brush with the reference picture. Once again, I'm just gonna kind of slightly mimic that so there is a bit of rosiness on those cheeks around the nose as well i am switching to the blood palette to get all those wounds colored and when i look at the reference picture they are all very dark so i'm not gonna use any of the light red colors i'm just going straight in there with those dark reds It is time to get the wig on or to get hair on my head. Well, unfortunately, I have the most terrible wig to complete this makeup today. First of all, it's orange and it should be more red than orange. Um, and the direction of the hair is all wrong. It's just a two euro party wig. So there is no Chucky there. So I'm just gonna cut it up piece by piece and just glue it on until I have something I'm happy with. So that is liquid latex I just put on there and I will just let this dry um, and hopefully it will stay in place. So this is the lowest part, maybe it should be a bit lower than this and then we will work it up a bit and then down. So the hair is far from perfect. First of all, there should be loads more of it. Uh, secondly, it has the wrong color. It's way too orange. But somehow I feel it works for this Chucky makeup I'm doing today. I'm quickly gonna put on the costume I have and see if I can pull off a Chucky. And there is my Chucky costume. So I had loads of fun creating this makeup today, only I wish I had bought a different wig with a bit more volume and the correct color. But that aside, I had loads of fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below. Stay tuned on all our videos.